everyone, it's Di here from Di's Den and welcome to another week's video. Whoops, that one fell down. This week I'm going to show you how to make this card. Now I'm showing it from the top so you can see what it is. It's called a half star card. So it lays flat in an envelope like so and it is 7 by 5 because this is actually one of those cards that if you make it too small it looks ridiculously small. So it goes like this. So it folds flat into your your um, envelope and this one's a bit wonky but never mind um, and it uh, stands up beautifully and looks like a star, half a star from the top. This one I actually put a circle on the front. This is done with paper from the Hello, uh, Friendly Hello um, bundle from the Celebration. And I was really happy with the way this all turned out. So, But I wanted to put that on there. So to do that bit, I will talk, tell you what you have to do if you want to do that. But we're not going to do that. We're, it's going to be a very plain card. So that's our card for today. Let's pop that down there. This one has never been finished. I've never finished it off. So, um, But I think it's a really lovely card. And you're right on the back. So, Oops, sorry. You're right on the back. So that... Um, you know, and as I say, it lays flat in an envelope, so it's really, really lovely. So let's me get through and tell you what we need. Now, it's a fair bit of stuff, so I've actually done a bit of the work already for us. So our main card piece is a piece of card that measures 7, oh, seven by 5. And now I'm using the um, soft succulent for that and the evening evergreen for the rest so this is the back of the card and this piece measures four and three quarters by six and three quarters and then the writing panel that goes on the top measures four and a half by six and a half so i'm just going to give that a little bit of a rub down there my blade is a little bit funny so that's the back of the card so oh so let's turn all these over and we can do the front of the card. We'll start with the front. So for the front of our card, the uh, front of this part of the card, we need two pieces of our contrast layer which measure four and three quarters by three and one quarter. So you want two of those and the one one I've already put the paper on. And then two pieces of the designer series paper that measure four and a half by three inches. So that's how they go on there. So I might actually, as we go along, I'll pop some of these pieces together so that we can do this in a much easier way as we go. So we're going to pop this one on here. And that piece is done as well then. Okay, so that's that back part of the card. For our other part of the card, we need a piece of card that measures 5 inches by 6 inches. And then we need two more pieces of our layers that measure... I can't read that far away, sorry. My eyes are a bit blurry today. Um, that measure 4 and 3 quarters by 2 and 3 quarters. So they're going to go onto this piece here like so. And then... Our designer series paper, which measures four and a half by two and a half. So let's pop that one onto this one here as well. While we're doing this. Okay, this is beautiful paper, this paper. I don't even know, I can't even remember what it's called. Then we need three pieces of card that measure one and a half by six and a half inches now i've done two of them i've scored them and i've put the panels on but we'll go through this one together and then we need six panels that measure one and a quarter by one and a quarter and six that measure one by one so i will stick this one by one onto this one and a quarter piece then i've done a lot of my little bits of gluing all together done and then this is for my um sentiment and this piece measures i don't know let me see where's my tape my house ruler this piece measures 
three inches by three quarters of an inch and this piece measures one inch by three and a quarter inches so and that's all the bits we need for our card unless you want to do a real lot of um, decorating on it now for me I don't think this card needs it but that's just me so let's pop them out of the way and I'll show you what I'm going to be using so I'm going to be stamping in an evening evergreen and I'm using this celebration one that finishes on the 28th of February 2022 so <clears throat> it's going to be very close but I'm using this one it's called special moments and this is available free with a $90 Australian order um, so I'm going to be using the happy birthday plus I don't know what else I've got on there I forget this one for someone who is wonderful in each and every way and this here of, of an, this is an old set that's actually retired it sort of matches in with the these leaves and that here so I'm going to use that just for the back of my card so let's pop them out of the way and then I've got some iridescent rhinestones and an evening evergreen ribbon that I've actually made into a nice bow ready to go. So let's pop them out of the way and let's get cracking onto our card. So now that we've done all our bits for this card, we're going to then pop that the back of the card out of the way and we're going to bring in our main card base card and we want to measure across here at the three and a half inch mark which is half of seven and we're just going to put a little mark here and then we're going to turn it the other way and we're going to put three this is five inches so two and a half inches which is here so I'm going to just put like a like a cross in the middle there now we're not going to see that so we won't need to worry about um, rubbing that off with an eraser unless you really want to so these are now going to get stuck onto this piece here with leaving a gap around them on both sides like so so let's do that oh I've got an itchy nose again this today you'd think it was spring instead of late summer but it's been so windy and weird weather this summer so we're going to pop this on here, making sure we leave a nice gap around, evenly around the sides, three sides. And then we're going to do the same on the other side, like so, making sure that if you've got a directional pattern like I have, that you get it the right way up. And wow, doesn't that look pretty on there already? Okay, so we're going to pop that piece out of the way for a minute and we're going to bring in our other piece and we're going to score this on the long side, which is the six inch side, at the three inch mark. Now remember, we need to use this smaller end because we're on card. So we're going to score that at the three inch mark like so. And let's pop that board out of the way again for a minute and we can then fold and burnish this piece over. Oops, turn my thing around the right way. There we go. So we've got this piece done and then these two panels are then going to go on the inside. So that's as if it's on the inside of a card. So we're going to stick them on, one on each side. along that edge too so I'm just going to rub that off now if you ever have a problem and you don't have a replacement blade or like me you're too lazy to get one out well not too lazy to get one out. I had to go digging it out and I was didn't want to lose where I was with my cutting so I did it after I'd finished cutting okay so that is our middle section done 
So that's the piece that's going to sit into the middle of our card like so. So let's pop those out of the way for a minute and we're going to bring in our other pieces here. These are our bits that make up our star shape and we're going to do some more scoring. So let's do that first. So we're going to score at this piece on the long side that is the one and a half inches by six and a half inches and we're going to score this at the one and a half inch, the three inch, four and a half and the six inch. Now we're going to do that on all three of them. So it's one and a half, three, four and a half, six. And we're going to do that on all three pieces. And I've already done that on the other two. I don't know if you can see the lines on there. So, and then we're going to stick these onto the middle two. So we've got a, a one and a quarter inch square empty, two more, and then an empty, and then our tab. So we're going to just glue these onto this. And again, once again, if you have a directional paper, make sure that you get your direction on your pieces all facing the correct way. Okie dokie, so that's that one done on there. Now we can now fold and burnish all of these score lines on these. Making sure when you turn it over that we get it nice and square so that it's square along these edges here. We want it square all the way, like so, on all three pieces. So let's do all three of those. Just easing it into place if it's not squ quite square where you, you've done your um, cutting or your um, scoring. Sometimes it does move when you're scoring, especially when it's a shorter piece of card. I'll turn around the right way. It's a shorter piece of card. So now that we've done that, we're going to pop glue onto this section here. And we're going to fold it over like so. And we're going to put glue onto this little tab here. And then bring our other piece over on top of it. And fold it down nicely. That way we'll get a nice little square like so. We're going to do that on all three of them. So let's do the other two. As you can see, I did a little boo-boo there. So I scored in the wrong spot. But luck Ooh, I don't know what that was, but it didn't sound very nice. And that one's there. Okay, so that's our three pieces of those. Let's pop that out of the way for now. And what we need to do now is we're going to fold these with this tab squashed in one side. So you've got the two pieces with the um, designer series paper on them. That one's a bit yucky there. Look at that. Naughty me, look at that. And two without designer series paper. And we're going to mark these at the halfway mark on them, which is three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to mark that with a three quarters of an inch mark. I'm going to do that on all three of them. Like so. So that's so we can get them all even and in this one we're going to do the same we're going to this is five inches so at two and a half inches we're just going to put a little mark in the middle there like so so what we're going to do next is we're going to bring in our main one and we're going to glue these into position so that this line this mark here matches up with this one and we want to leave a little bit of a gap because when this goes in the middle it's going to sit there like so so we want to make sure that that's going to fit in there so we'll pop this one on so on the opposite side to where you've put your mark so that you can actually see your mark when you slide it into position we can then pop that in just so that it's 
this side of the, the line. We're going to pop this on here for a second so we can see. Yep, it's just going to be beautiful. Then we're going to pick one of the other ones and we're going to do exactly the same again. So, going to pop one of these. Oops, sorry, I'm out of the screen. Onto the other side here. So, I'm going to pop this in here just so that it will lay flat and I can still see that mark so I can line that up against that mark there like so that way I know that it's nice and even and it will fit in the middle right? like so so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually pop some glue on one of these And pop it in that slot in the middle there making sure that it lines up nicely at the top and the bottom here so that it's nice and even and then we can open it up and fold it down on top of it just once again just make sure that when you do that it does stay nice and even and once we've done that we can open it up and then do the other side to match like so and then we have our first two parts of our piece with our other one we're going to do exactly the same thing again we're going to pop some glue onto this center the, the one with nothing on it and pop that into the center of this card at that mark and as you can see we're not going to see those marks so, which is really good because that way you don't have to spend your time actually rubbing them off and then we just push that across so that it's onto that one there like so and now we have as you can see our card that stands up on its own and it looks like a half um, oh start you will notice that there's a gap down there and that's fine it's not going to pull away because of it's actually stuck to the back of this card here and here so it's looking really really good like so so what we're going to do now is we're going to do our stamping for the back of our card onto our other pieces so let's do that bit of stamping on here and on this piece here so we've got let's move my ruler out of the way let's put my pin in my glue for a moment because with the warm weather it dries out so quickly and then I won't be able to get the pin in and I won't get any glue out. There we go. So I'm going to stamp my happy birthday onto my piece of card here. Yep, that looks great. And then I will stamp my message on the back of this one here that says, for someone who is wonderful in each and every way. And then I will use this just over here because I, I really think that for me, I'm just going to pop that under there because I'm going to go off the edge a bit. It just matches in beautifully. With the same kind of thing. So that's all our stamping done. So let's pop that lid on that because of the warmth. And we will glue this to this and this to this. Get there. on to that piece and we're going to pop this one on here like so and then we're going to glue this one onto the back of this card here So, 
and that's the back of our card done. So we just need to finish off the decorating in the front. Now for me, I'm just going to pop this. I think I might pop that through the middle here, like I did the other bit. So let me just go and get a piece of more of this green card. I just have a scrap of it here, which measures, let's see, uh, one and three quarter inches. So I will cut this at uh, two poor, wrong one, went wrong board. I will cut this at half an inch. I need two pieces at half an inch, and that's all that I need to, to attach that to the front. What I'm going to do with these two pieces, I'm just going to throw them across the floor somewhere. I don't know where that one went, so I have to cut another one. Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay, so we're just going to fold these in half, like so. And we're going to just glue those two pieces onto here with the folded edge towards the folded middle piece towards this folded line here like so but not on the line and then this one the other side of that line like so and we'll just hold them down for a few seconds so that they stick nice and tightly and then we're going to pop a little bit of glue onto the top of this piece here not underneath it and that one too and then this can just sit on top like so now try and get it as nice and even as possible now this could go anywhere now I've just put that on upside down haven't I yes Duh. let's call, pull that off turn it around that wasn't very clever was it no never mind shows I'm just as human as anybody else okay let's turn this around now and we'll do this once more I'll blame my husband for this because he popped in while I'm in the middle of this and I had to push him out the door and that will sit up there like so now so it sits in the middle, really pretty. My saying on the back is upside down because of him. Never mind, I'm not going to complain. Whoever gets this card will love it all the same because it's handmade. But I can also just put another white piece over the top with the other saying on it. So we're going to finish this off with a nice little bow there which I'm going to pop down the bottom here just at the bottom of my words with some glue dots once I've got them on I can trim them up so I'll pop him just there nice and neatly bring my bow pieces down the bottom here like so and I will trim them up oops, take the lid off my there we go and we'll pop some nice iridescent gems onto this just to finish it off and I'll use the small ones I think the small ones just really do make it look a little bit better I'm going to put Three of them on here, like so. These iridescent gems are just absolutely gorgeous. And that's our card for this week. I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll just pop that that way so you can see it. I hope you've enjoyed that. It is really easy to do. I'm cross with myself that I put that on upside down, but you know what? I can always cut another piece of white, stamp it again, and lay it over the top, which is probably what I will do. But as you can see, you've got that lovely half um, 
Oh, I can't think what they're called. Star! <laughs> Lovely half star shape in the middle and with those beautiful pieces of paper on there like so. And I think it's just gorgeous. And I hope you've enjoyed that. And I will see you again next week. Bye for now.